Hey there guys and welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be playing that Reltic deck that I showed you guys yesterday. If you want a deck profile and stuff on it, you can go watch that one. I'm going to be doing ranked games because um, Canon, Can No Namos, I think I got it that one, um, wanted me to play some more games with it. And I know a few of you has, have asked for ranked games since I don't really play ranked games when I'm just trying to show new decks and stuff because I don't really have time to make up the MMR loss that I'd get. Like, I'm rank 18, it's almost the end of the season, <laughs> and I haven't even played that many games, but we're, actually, I'm almost rank 19, I'll show you guys real quick. Yeah, I'm at 3,956, so I'm pretty close, 75, 37, and 5 draws, not too bad. Um, also, I don't usually play ranked with random decks, because I don't even get that many games in, but, yeah, also wanted to mention that the Wolfsborn, the Wolfsborn, yeah. Uh, brought up a good thing that I wanted to try with running Moonlight and Siren and uh, the wolf that becomes immune and becomes a 14 power play bronze instead of Slizzard's Forktail and Selena Harpy. Might be a good combo there. I want to try it, but I actually need some more scraps because out of my 60 kegs, I didn't get any of them, so I need all nine of those rares. I got like one gold, two epics, and... 10 commons and rares, so, yeah, I won't be, oh, getting the holiday keg pack, because it only gives you 25 and one epic card, which means I'm probably going to see, like, what, three or four more new cards, and the rest are going to be scrap kegs, and 400 meteorite powder doesn't matter to me on PS4, because right now the PS4 cannot run this game with premiums turned on, so I'm sitting on 1,485 meteorite dust that I can't even use or bother, be bothered to use so that's how that is but we'll get into this let's get into this first one oh game one right of it the gate must be yeah we have nothing to lock really except for harpy eggs wow this is pretty cool renew royal decree caretaker sarah hmm wonder how I'm gonna use that I'm gonna throw back Selena harpy Ooh, we got the weaves too, though. Well, I guess I'll throw back the weaves. And obviously one of these crones. Alright, just that way I can get this royal decree out of the way. Make that a slightly higher tempo play. Because royal decree would be dead unless I threw back caretaker. And I'd use it on weaves because it thins out my deck a little bit right away. Oh, we're facing this thing? I was wondering how this thing would work. I have not seen this deck yet. Could use Sarah to throw back her crones if they end up screwing me and try and give me another one. Hmm. Or I could just eat her with Giant Toad, since I don't have a fiend yet. What spell did you just play? Recon? Yeah. Alright, let's eat these eggs. Bring us up to 32 points. 20 points ahead, pretty good. Oh, here we go with some RNG crap. Into runestone, into disloyal unit. I bet. Who takes an interest in yeah, because that's a bunch of bull crap. I'll tell you that. Um, he ignies. That's twenty. Yeah, that's probably what he's gonna do. He's just gonna ignite me, and if I keep playing, I'm two cards down. Because runestones are so awesome. Love RG. I have to pass. Go ahead and Igni me. Actually, I'd rather have him use up his Igni now, though, that I think about it. That'd be fine. Because then... He's not going to Igni? Oh, he's going to decoy? My studies are more important than this. Oh. That was a pretty cool play. What did he even play to get the decoy? Oh, is John Nautilus. That ended up being a 9 or 8. 
That's not too bad. That's a pretty cool play. I like it. Let's throw back this... Ooh, double harpy. Can't you give me a fiend? Where's my fiends? Well, let's renew. Bring out Weaves. Since it's a low tempo play anyway. Sets me up better for later. I really hate runestones though. <laughs> Oh my god, go away. Get out of here. Yeah, well, we're gonna play these guys before we join Toad. And I'll eat my Sarah if I have to, since that'll actually give me my ghoul value. Um. That seems like the main card he's counting on, so I'll probably just renew out his. Or. Yeah. Caretaker style. Play my spear and draw card. Does it have to be a spell or anything? Special card. Oh, it is a special. Okay, cool. Just wanted to double check that before I got screwed over. Do do do. All right. Ah, oh, we got a fork tail. That's not too bad. Because now I can slay a harpy out of fork tail and eat, I mean, slither out of fork tail and get double value on these. Hopefully I get a fiend. I mean, I have three of them in my deck. I have eight cards left. Like, I haven't seen one yet. Give me a fiend. Fiend in for a fiend. You know, I'm 44 points ahead. Maul? Is that enough for a 20 point Igni? Not too bad. Let's Oh my god, another ghoul. Okay, don't give me a fiend then. <laughs> Alright, well let's start with this little harpy. Start getting that going before he plays something like uh, Rock Slide. Orange will ring, come on, RNG! Oh, not too bad. I still get to eat one egg. Bloop. And. We'll eat the five power. Then he'll get less value out of that torrential rain over time. And it keeps me safe from the 20-point Igni, but I mean, he's going to get a 21-point Igni with the Toad Prince anyway. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has an Igni. He was setting up like he had an Igni. Alright, what do you got now? Flail? Oh, Zer's Thunder. Oh, he's... Why is he trying to keep those under 10? Maybe he doesn't have an Igni. Play another one of these. I'm gonna rat in my two eggs. That would actually be the best play you could do with rat because it denied me... 6 power? 12 power? No, he's just gonna kill that guy off with... Ulzer's Thunder. Alright. I'm gonna bring out a fork tail. Do do do. I'm here, eat two more eggs again. So he must not have another one of those four power guys. That seems like that's what his deck was mostly counting on. If that's the case, he's not going to be able to come back from this. Like, that's the only thing that sucks about those guys, is that they're so easy to remove. I mean, a lot of decks run a lot more removal than mine. Mine doesn't have really any removal. It has two removal cards? I guess a lock and a removal. They have one spear. Besides that, it's just basically gaining power. Alright, let's ghoul. 
you know, this 15 power. I don't know how he's going to come from back from this. We're like 70 points ahead. Yeah, he has two more cards than us. Oh, this is how. This is how. This card. Oh, last wish. Phew. He didn't get a good choice. Holy crap. Did he just last wish into last wish? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Well, I mean, there's really no split up from the Marigold, so we'll play this guy. Eat the 8 power. Oh, no. Okay, 12. Whew. I didn't count if that was going to set me up to a 26 point Igni. Eight value, that's the highest I'm going to get with my Unseen Elder. He's going to be 12 power play. Meh. Yep. Alright, we'll drain one of these guys by half. We're 50, 61 points ahead. He has two cards. If he pulls this off with two cards, I will be amazed. Commander's Horn, okay. We're still 41 points ahead. 40, because of the rain. Nope, Igni, not enough. Good game. We got the first one. All right. Let's take that. Oh. Good game. That was a weird one. I mean, he counted on his four powers a lot. So I don't think that deck's going to end up being good. I thought it was going to be good until I saw like how much removal is ending up in the game. And I was like, hey, we might hit 4k. Um, then I was like, oh, that kind of sucks because they're so easy to kill. I mean, like, why well, I use my one removal card that I have in the deck and it shut down his whole deck, basically. Yeah, I don't know. We'll get into the next one now, though, guys. See you guys there. Yeah, right in two King Brawlin. Why should I? I might run Runestones in the Blood Moon version that I'm gonna try. Wow again, really? Awesome. Let's throw back crones. Well now we got um fiends too. That's a really nice throwback a fiend. And King Brawn, what I want? I guess to deal with this bear. But I could get a Selena Harpy. Mm. Or I could see the caretaker or another crones. But if I saw a slizzard. Or I could see giant toad. I guess it's worth it. Uh, another ghoul. Should I throw her back now? Just get that in my hand. Then I can real decree my weaves out. Thin out my deck some. Yeah, let's go with that. You want to tickle me? Let's get the caretaker. I mean, she's gonna get boosted in a minute anyway. Like when I play Royal Decree. <laughs> there we go. Thin my deck by one. Now I can uh, caretaker one of his bear guys in the late game. That'll be handy. I don't have much to play now. <laughs> Is that an old geared? Yeah. I think I'm going to take his old geared. So he can't just drive past me. And I can drive past him if... Oh, no, I can't drive past him. No, I would be able to drive past him. Because I'd have a 5, he'd have a 2. Well, there's that. What's the best thing to lock against this deck? One of those guys? Because this is Bear Skelga. This is the one that everybody thinks is Tier 1 deck. Because Swim made it. So, everybody's running it. We're going to lock that guy. Do, do, do. Take 
Talisman into Skajal to Wolfsbane. No, he ruined Stone's Skajal. Of course, he ruined Stone's Skajal because uh, aggravating. Well, our leader will get us better value later anyway. He's gonna play the fiend out. And then I'll pass if he doesn't pass. This will give me enough stuff for both my Ghoulsy and him. Another Skajal from him. This is... RNG is totally cool, guys. Don't worry. I mean, this guy can just play three Skajals because a bunch of bullcrap. Runestone and him. Whatever. Pass. Ugh. <sighs> Give me... Oh, that's pretty good. Slizzard. What would I even want? I guess I could throw a ghoul deck. Oh, ew. Really? That was a possibility, I guess. I think I just lost if he plays this out now. Hopefully he passes me here because I just made a low tempo play and now he's out of me. I don't want both these crones in my hand. Shouldn't have took the risk. Come on, pass. Pass me. Pass me. No, restore bear. Alright, we'll play out some eggs. This becomes an 18 power, so yeah, if you pass me here, I'd pass him with this one card. Oh, is he gonna kill my eggs? Oh, I don't have a Selena Harpy in there. Crap. That's a problem. We're gonna ghoul. Eat this. This double crones in my hand and is a problem for sure. You can still ghoul out another fiend or slizzard out of fiend. Skajal, fourth Skajal. Cool. Grab that fiend, get the 15 power one out. I think we're gonna lose this. Pretty sure. Well, there's no point in eating the 15 power. I'll just eat the two one powers. Pass me. Pass me here. This would be the best thing because I could get rid of one of these crones. No. He's going to take it. 2 0. I can usually beat this deck. This is going to be the first time I lost to this deck. Alright, let's grab out the crones. Um. That's a 21 power play, so... Yeah, it wouldn't matter either way, so I'd have to spend these two cards. We're all dressed up just for you. Hopefully he doesn't have a 9 power card. Come on, give me some luck game. He got four Skajals. Oh, oh man, is that a bear? No. That's a game. Alright. <laughs> well, we lost that one. First time I lost skins bears. I mean, if we didn't get that double crones, I would have won. I don't know how we got that unlucky. 
All right. I shouldn't have mulliganed back that other guy. I will take that loss. Let's get into the last game. Radovid again. Hmm. Radovid shouldn't be a problem. Only thing I'm really scared of is Movement Scully Tull because that one's beaten me twice, I think. I don't think I've beaten Movement Scully Tull, but that's because I don't really have a weather clear. Um, Throwback Harpy. Forktail. This weapon. Alright. Sarah, give me one of the two options, please. Bees, okay. That leaves me with a royal decree and renew in my deck. Come to Papi. Kamarian infantry right away. I sense your pain. I see your fear. I have a ghoul slither combo. Hmm. Play the harpy. Probably gonna have another weather. Going to slow unit. Don't forgot me. That's nice. Well, let's eat up these eggs. If I pass there, I think he had a way to pass me, which is why he didn't. Now he shouldn't have a way to pass me when two cards. Yep, there we go, there's pass. Pretty good timing on this is a slow unit though. Hopefully I see renew. Yeah, another ghoul. Throw the ghoul back. Another crones. <laughs> oh, crones, stay away. Let's play the Toe Prince. Slizzard. Need one of these. Get him boosted up. Probably just save my play him down to crones or something. There's another weather. Alright. Yeah, let's filter out that other fiend. Give me a higher chance of seeing what I need. I'll play my other fiend to pass. I'll manage. Don't you fret. It's gonna mulligan two cars, alright. After this we'll pass. See if he runs Scorch. Another Blizzard. I'm really set up nicely for a Scorch right now. That's all he needs. If he doesn't have Scorch, we might be able to have him use up two more cards. And I'm going to be taking four damage, so I'm at 36. So 23 points? No, 13 points. Which Radovid would pass me then. He used his leader ability. You will be done, sire. Okay, he miscalculated. <laughs> he could have just used his leader ability. The heck, and then he used that guy. Okay. Oh no, his leader ability. Wouldn't have been enough, because we would have been taking one damage from the Frost, not two. So that would have tied us, he would have had to play one more card anyway. Selenal Harpy. Well, we're throwing back one of these. Caretaker, good enough. Swap two cards, let's do that. Let's play the Crones first, so we don't get any more of them. And we'll throw back a Harpy and a Ghoul. And hope to get renew. Is that a Rackus Venom? Oh yeah, that's right, she has a Rackus Venom now.
Royal Decree? No. Oh my. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah, wish you could grab me spells still, buddy. Okay, there's a lock. Make a 7 power play here and tie us back up. I still have a ghoul. What the heck? Oh, at the start of your game. Huh. No, they changed him like that. Play another one of these and eat. My Sarah. 17 power. Ooh, the Scorch. Alright, we'll play Morbid. Lock this guy. <laughs> and I should win because whatever he plays I'm gonna have. Yeah. Just take half of that bear's power, thank you. Add plus four to it on me. <laughs> Oh, I'm seeing Elder, you're such a clutch play sometimes. Uh, it basically just shuts down any of those decks like Siri Nova and Erangeddon and stuff. Alright, well, we went two for one. I'll take that. I hit. Oh my god, that's not, not three off. Three off hitting 4,000. Ah, should be able to hit that now. I mean, the deck's been working out really well for me. That was my fourth loss. I won against Skelga. And I've won like 15. So. It's been going pretty well, but that Skellige guy, like, oh, oh my god, that RNG, this is crap. You have to pull three Skajals. You should not be able to play four Skajals with Skellige, I don't care. Imagine if those were Deekstras. Oh my god, if those were Deekstras? Oh man, him and Runestones are a problem. Alright, well, that's those games, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then. Have a good one.